Oh, the jackhammer. This was a later design. Sparks were starting to get less common, much less common. And even every day, moats were weakening and fading, along with everything else. So Nettle decided she wanted to make up for the less powerful enchantments by changing the design. The sparks powered it, but the mechanics strengthened it. Very clever. Nobody was more resourceful than Nettle. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, I got the jacket. <laughs> Hello, the internet staff right here going back in the beast breaker and off screen I got hold on hold on my glasses are weird okay anyway off screen I got the jackhammer you know so I have another hammer weapon yeah I don't really care um but we have to go back to oh that's right saving science we got to find more research notes Okay, all right, so we're gonna be doing a couple battles here. Let me swap out, I want, what is this? Oh, bonus ammo tile. Yes, we definitely want that. We're gonna switch to our favorite weapon. Um, where is it? Here we go, hold on, wait. Can I <clears throat> mix and match here and maybe get some additional renown? No, no. Then I guess, and we're gonna do the burrowing bolts too today because the dang um, fragile is really nice. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna find some clues. Like, you know that you know the drill by now. That is, if you watch the rest of my episodes. Oh, hey, if you haven't, then what the heck? Why haven't you? This is a great game, and if you haven't, don't want to watch the episodes. Just get the game then. It's a really good game. It's worth. I think it was like twenty bucks. In fact, I got it way on sale because I had all sorts of points on my Nintendo Switch. So, um, so yeah, so do it. Just do it. Anyway, let me get some materials here. Oh, I have the wrong team. I mean, not 100% the wrong team. I don't exactly like Tempest Kaboom ability. I don't think it really adds anything. Um, Because basically all it does is shatter scales and it's like, eh, whatever. Okay, where is this shark now? I have lost him. There he is. Okay. <laughs> there he is, I guess we're fighting him. And again, the same routine. I got my uh, unstable bullets and all that good stuff. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't get some extra ammo right away. Yep, awesome. All right, and then we're just gonna end turn with that. Yeah, and I won't spend too much time on these fights because like I said, yeah, this one's pretty routine. We've seen this fight before. Um, we know how very mean this shark is. That's fine. Okay, we lost that fight. I got dead, um, but it's fine. We got what we needed. We got the, the mystery tape. Skip, look, this holotape isn't even, isn't as smashed up as the ones we've seen before. Do you know what this means? The mystery scientist might still be at the coast, eh? Okay, great. <sighs> now there's nothing craft, back to another expedition. Okay, so I went and I got our three uh, clues or whatever. So now we do the research recording, recording all these tapes. Must be around here somewhere. Saving science. Molt afloat. Have none of these lands emerge unscathed? This area exhibits particularly strong signs of corruption. Tessellation effect. Fascinating. Fascinating. I believe it's due to the conjunction of the cross currents beneath the X-shaped rock, rocky outcropping. Hold on a moment. An X-shaped outcropping? There's a place like that on our map. Aye, that's Black Reef Cove. Many a skilled ship has gone down in those waters. I suggest you bury these accursed tech likewise and, and think no more of it. But we have a chance to actually meet this researcher. Think about all the things we've they've seen and done. Having more information sure could help us a lot later down the line. This my my mouse is in the way. <sighs> on on it. Yeah, Skipper, let's go. Um, swap. I don't want John Quill. I want. There we go. I want Dandy. Yes, because Dandy's ability on the field is so much more useful. All right, so let's start looking. Boy, whatever the critter is, it's mad. I didn't pay, oh, here we go, hey. 
he's adorable. Or they are adorable. Look, wait. The one eye is weird, though. <laughs> Don't do that. The subject exhibits extensive tesserae regrowth and the speed of 0 0.05 TS, worthy of a class 5 designation. What? Ho! Critter's approaching. Are you here to jot down research notes? Not exactly. In that case, stand back. I need to take some samples. Wait! Yeah, wait, little bat guy. You don't want to do that. It's dangerous out here. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. I should have went to the reef. I was thinking about it. I was like, no, we're okay. So now we got to find him again. Oh, oh, um, okay, well. All right, Dandy. Let's get our explosives going, and then here we go. <laughs> Bring it on. Now this one we actually have to beat. Because otherwise we're going through that whole story again. Oh, it's got like extra scale things going on. I'm like, what is behind it there? But um, yeah, that's that's kind of new. Oh, a spot flop. Oh, oh, except I can't just get to its nose. OK, well, we can do a spot flaw there at the very least. Ouch, that's going to hurt. OK, we blocked. We're good. We had block. Supposedly, I applied the crack. It sounds terrible when you say it that way, but, um, y you know, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> I applied crack. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay, can we get... No, nah, that damn spine is in the way. Yeah, he's gonna rampage soon. Ooh, spot flaw. Please do. I wasn't expecting to hit the fin on the back. We'll take it. Always good to have extra. Oh, here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, is it just me or does it seem to be getting like more scales every time? <laughs> I always end up like right back where I started. It's like, great. Yeah, okay, reset. That's okay. You know, I was actually like trying to, because I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to hit that action spot anyway. So I'm just gonna, you know, take the long shot and um, what do you know, we hit it. <laughs> Uh, yes, because of course if I had been trying to hit it, I wouldn't have been able to. All right, there we go. All gone, done, taken care of. Now we can find out who this little bat guy is. He's probably our new associate. It looks like he might come with a new weapon. Beast broken, yep. Tally-ho, transcription complete. Boats afloat, what a nifty fight. I have transcribed an astonishing amount of data from my observations. And the curiosity break moats that you picked up are most fascinating indeed. What might this imply for an inorganic xenophobia hypoth hypothesis? <laughs> Perhaps we should combine forces. I'm Alchemalia, you know, like the genus of Herbaceous perennial plants. Sure. I have a special fellowship grant to study beasts in the wild, but my observations have thus far been stymied. Whereas you've managed to deconstruct the sample so efficiently, you and I must compare notes. I like them. I like them. They're cute. <laughs> all, like, again, all the characters are cute. On a spiffy farm. It reminds me of my college dorms. What with all these critters packed in? Ah, uh, cranny. <laughs> Not another one. All these familiar hus bustle is a real pep me up. See, I've only just graduated from the Celestial Collegium. Wait, you're my age? From your recordings, I thought you'd be like way older. You mean to say you've recovered my recordings? Oh, I'm utterly chuffed. Keeping comprehensive documentation is vital for my grant, but it's proved to be most inconvenient. You would not believe how many times my research subjects have attempted to step on me. <sighs> Crowded or not, it seems our home is yours for now. Might as well make yourself comfortable. Thanks. Now, where can I go? Where can I go conduct some computational enchantment around here? 
Ha ha ha. Al Weapon upgrading. Oh, how nice. <laughs> what do you got to say, John Quill? Just want to offer a warm welcome to the team. To the team, Alcamilia. Oh, oh, thank you for the social overture. I've never been part of a group before. Except for the Junior Xenofama Invest Fauna Investigation Society. I was a founder and president and sole member. <laughs> never been in a group, huh? Well, if there's anything you got questions about, I'll be glad to let a paw. Thank you, John Quill. There's so much that I'm just bustling to delve into. First of all, where might I find a battery recalibration nozzle? Uh, sounds a bit like something they might have in the forge? I see, I see. In that case, how should I account for the temper temperature differential when calibrating? Or is the calibration temperature independent? Sap and splinters, that's, uh, going over my head a bit there, lass. Oh, yes, I know what to do with this sort of feedback. I'll clarify. <clears throat> Well, the nozzle's recalibration nodes have altered enchantment frequencies due to excessive thermal input. You, you might want to chat with someone who's got a bit more know-how, maybe. <laughs> Phew, you found a real bright one this time, champ. Sorry, this old noggin turned out to be pretty dim. Oh, it's okay, John Quill. It's just, it's just different is all. Aha, so this is your computational enchantment center. And look, someone has already installed an enchantment augmenting recalibration node. But molts afloat! Where are the spark oscillation boosters? So... Hmm, distress. No need. I'll just poke around a bit and... Oh! Hook up a few rudimentary devices for you. Yes, yes! This contains all that I'll require for further experimentation. Also, now you can upgrade the enchantments on your existing weapons and whatnot. Nifty, right? Do you like it? I don't know. We're gonna find out if we like it. What is upgrade? Well, let's upgrade our favorite, shall we? Where is it? Oh, here we go. Oh, and we can. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, so fires one arrow, applies essence. Upgrade, when destroyed, deals two damage to everything in large radius. Whoa. Um. Because the fires applies 50 chance chance to deal one and... 100% chance if... Okay! I don't know, I guess. Um, okay, we're gonna do this. Deals three damage. Excellent. Um, let's go here. Shatter nine. Stop. I mean, I like this year, but I haven't been using it a whole lot lately. Um, let's see what else. Ooh, here we go. Fire three shots, apply uns- Ooh, three shots. Yes, please. Uh, the spot flaw. Applies essence, deal one damage, gain one charge. Applies essence, deal one damage. Oh, except it's 120 steps instead of 80. Okay. All right, so now we're out of moats. <laughs> okay, so there's creepy twisting sickness mysteriously cropping up in the Myers, right? What if after the critters, the critters die, they twist all around with corruption scales and turn into creepy undead beasts? Zombies, no, Poppy. A fascinating theory. Really? Really? Indeed. Can I inquire as to the reasoning behind your hypothesis? Oh, um, Tempest has a scaly scar and these kind of look like critters sometimes. Compelling, though the undead hypothesis is unlikely given the lack of testimonials about disturbed graves. Perhaps the integrated crystals have coliester on natural environmental materials that- Oh, the moats! This could explain the seeming contrast between their integrated nature and their naturalistic niches. Much appreciated, Poppy, for the brilliant insight. Oh, really? You got it! If you need wild speculation and thrilling rumors, I'm your gal! Okay! Oh, I was half expecting, um, Cinnabar or whatever his name is to be here. Alright, so we have a chance encounter and the picture perfect side quest. Limited time. Poppy and Alcamiel are hatching a plan. Let's do it! But then at the final minute, crunch! Aw, sounds like it would have been such an awesome shot. 
without a doubt, if my recording pin had survived. Oh, oh, idea! What if you would, you and I try to recreate it in the next time that we're out in the field? Oh, oh! Wish me to join you specifically? Totally! We'll run around, you'll run a lot of cool facts. Oh, I can even show you my very favorite picnic spot! Murder Thorn Meadow! It'll be a toast to the epic friendship getaway! In that case, I say tally-ho! Skipper, please allow us to embark together on a totes epic ex excursion. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I love both of these characters. All right, um... I don't know what we're fighting. So I don't know if I want to keep the gear that I have. Or if I want to swap back to my bow and arrow. Uh, let's do that. I want to swap back to my bow and arrow. Because I like it. It just got an upgrade. Uh, so let's... Let's see. <laughs> I've never used John Quill's bowl. Alright, depart! There it is, thundering across the expanse. Incredible! Observe, it's hull glinting, it's tessering, it's shuddering. Whoa, hang on! I can't believe I'm the one saying this, but we can't get distracted yet. Trust me, we've got to find a prime spot if we want to get close to it, as close to it as we can while Skip's battling. Oh, nifty. Let me start scanning the area for optimal hiding places. Okay, so that's uh, apparently Alcamalia's her ability. We'll call her we'll call her H <laughs> or L. We can call her L. We'll call her L. <laughs> All right, research B track to use on beast tracks. Learn how learn one of the beast's unknown traits. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Grab our ingredients here. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey, you're a little close there, friend. I don't care about the grappling. No, I don't care about the grappling. <laughs> I think it's just going to get me in trouble. All right. Learned element. Bring it on. Sneak attack. And yeah, we have our sword. We're so with the Tuskers. I'm OK with swords. Yes. Oh, wait. I forgot bull. <laughs> I was just, I forget. All right, reload. <laughs> this game is so good. I love this game. This pro is one of my new favorites. Ooh, can I shift it? Yeah. Let's see if I can't reload. Well, not there, preferably. Let's, yeah, okay. See if we can't get in there, because I want to start getting some of these cores down so I can... Yeah, let's do that. I can do another priming bolt. Well, hold on. Let's reload. <clears throat> okay. Oh, shoot. That's okay. Um, because, yeah, when a lot of those blow, they're, they're right on those needles, so there's going to be some damage dealt. <laughs> it all exploded. <laughs> okay. Um, what does the arrow flight do now? Fires two arrows, fifty percent chance to deal two damage. Um, it does apply essence. Hold on. What do we want to do here? Hold on, because we got to reset rampage here pretty soon too. Well, here we got priming bolts. Let's see if we can. No, not exactly the best spot for that. Let's see if we can't get squeezed through here. Yeah. Yes. Squeezing. Squeezing. Yes. <laughs> Whoops, that was bad. That was, that was silly. That was silly. It just, it makes me giggle. I can't help it. And if I reroll 10, I bet. Nope, I can't. Um, okay, it's fine. Uh, do I, can I apply it? Nope, it's, it's fine also there. <laughs> okay, so now Rampage is imminent. So now I've got to get something tore apart here. Let's get up here in this unstable. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, it's okay. 
I can do an agitator and blow that up. Okay, okay, good. Cause I'm like, I think I can still get out of there. <laughs> oh, um, okay, uh, it's, it's fine. Um, we got our reset. It's okay. <laughs> I'm getting so anxious and I'm so excited because it's, it's awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna reroll and I'm just gonna try to do it like a bounce here. Now I actually want to be in front of him. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> I wasn't. Oh, um, and it's dead. That was epic. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And that's the thing about this game is the gameplay itself is even so addicting, even if it's a little repetitive. That's the best thing. If the characters are great, this is a this is a good game. Okay, how invigorating. And look, Poppy, you are correct that I should not wander absently into the fray. For once, my scientific record survived. It's a dream come true. You know, for me, this whole thing is a dream come true. Traveling like this is basically all I've ever wanted to do ever since... Oh, I don't know, my entire life! Seeing different places, meeting different people, sampling different foods? A fellow enthusiast with the vim and vigor, I'm surprised you decided not to attend a university. University? That's not really an option down here, Mila. We don't have access to that kind of thing. There we go, Mila, then. If I wanted to learn about anything that wasn't farm chores, I had to find a way to go see it face to face. Which meant sneaking out a lot! Oh, I, I wasn't aware of that. I apologize. But perhaps now I can aid you in harnessing your creative spirit. Hey. And so here's what I was imagining. See, I scribbled it on a napkin. I was thinking something like this. Aha, because you love to leap about at top speeds. Yeah. Ingenious, though the execution's complicated and sparks are rare, so we couldn't do, do it quite as described. But if I take the seat of the idea, perhaps I could creatively repurpose some cutting edge compression tech. To affix this grappling hook to your favorite cooking implement in Eureka! The Fantastical Flying Frying Pan! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be another little adventure with Dandy and perhaps Mila. Uh, and we will take care of that next time. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, ring that bell, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all later. Damn, that music gets really good. <laughs> Not that it was bad to begin with, but holy shit.